<laughs> What's going on, y'all? I'm about to go on the air, ESPN. First take is going to be on ESPN all week long from 4.30 to 6 p.m. I'm talking about with the crew, Max Molly, Stephen A. We're going to be on uh, from 4.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. on ESPN. So you can catch me there in just a few minutes. You know we got to talk about LeBron. I love this move. I can't hold it. And I can't wait till the show. I love this move. And it's not just because I want to be in La La. You know, Venice Beach, Melrose, Rodeo Drive, Palisades Park, way to 405, 110. I don't give a damn about traffic. It's near Calabasas, which I love too. You know, LA Live, the whole nine. It's not just about that. It's about the fact that LA is special when the Lakers are special. I just got finished interviewing Kobe Bryant on my television show. I'll post the interview later. Look for it. I mean, look, it's something special about LA whenever. The Lakers are relevant, and the Lakers are very, very relevant right now. I'm here to tell you, there's something special to behold. I personally can't wait. So we got a lot to talk about because, obviously, why LeBron went to L.A., what's he going to get out of being in L.A.? Who else are they going to get to join him in L.A.? How long does he do to stay in L.A.? Who could be the next coach in L.A.? It's a lot of stuff to think about, a lot of stuff to get into, and obviously I'm going to make sure to do that. Kawhi Leonard, that's another story. Lots of information seeping out of San Antonio in regards to him. Paul George electing to stay in Oklahoma City. Lots of stuff seeping out involving him. What exists in the Eastern Conference now? The balance of power in the West. Did y'all know that the three seed to the eighth seed, only two games separated them in the entire Western Conference last year? The three, four, five, six, seven, and eight seed were separated by two games. Add Denver to the equation as the ninth seed who didn't get in until the last day, who didn't get into the playoffs, but were in contention until the very last night of the regular season when they had lost at Minnesota. Do you realize they were only three games back of the third seed? That's how close the Western Conference was. And that's what the Lakers on the outside looking in. Now that the Lakers are in the mix with LeBron James, good for about 15 games. Lakers 135 last year. You trying to tell me they can't win 50 now? This is what we're talking about here. This is how special this is. And this is why we all should be looking forward to this. I love this. Whoa, I can't wait. It's something special. Lots of stuff to get into. I'm about to get into it, but I got to get on out of here for now. LeBron, Magic Johnson met him at 9.01 p.m. Pacific time, 12.01 Eastern Standard Time, right at his doorstep, ready to go, close that deal, even though only Boo Boo the Fool doesn't know that this was in the works since last year when Contavious Caldwell Pope, a client of Rich Paul in Clutch Sports, had gotten signed a one-year $17 million deal. We all knew what was in the making. We ain't blind, but it's who cares? Who cares? LeBron is in L.A. L.A. is relevant. The Western Conference is beautiful right now, especially with Trevor Ariza leaving Houston. And now you got Houston and Golden State, along with all those teams that I mentioned. It's special. I'm very happy today. The NBA is it, bro. And ladies, NBA is it. I holla at y'all. I got to go get ready to do um, ESPN first take. But trust me, I won't be hard to find.